Today I wanted to show you how to take your eye from this to this using the exotic Arabic makeup style. Hi everyone, it's Smitha. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you a technique to make your eyes look bigger, wider and more elongated but without making it look boring. This is especially helpful if you have hooded eyes so just want to change up your makeup technique. So I can't wait to show you how it's done. So let's begin. As always I'm starting with my brows and I'm going to be using the Precisely My Brow. This is an eyebrow pencil by Benefit Cosmetics and I'm using the shade 4.5. Using the spoolie in the back I'm going to brush my brow head downward so I can clearly see on top and fill that portion up and then I'm going to use the spoolie again to brush my brow head upward so I can clearly see at the bottom and I'm going to fill that in as well. Using the Milani concealer in the shade 145, I'm going to clean up around my brows as well as use it on my lid as a primer for the eyeshadows. Using the Bare Minerals powder, I'm going to lightly set my lid to prevent the concealer from settling in the fine lines and creasing. For today's look, I'm going to be using the Smoke and Roses palette. This is by Colourpop. I'm going to first dip into Angel Eyes. This is going to be my transition shade. With the C31 brush from Rose and Ben Beauty, I'm going to dab this in the outer corner and the crease. I'm taking very little eyeshadow at a time and going light handedly. And if I have to build this up, I'm going to keep layering on top of it till I'm happy with the intensity. I'm taking a little bit more of the same eyeshadow with a blending brush and I'm going to buff it out a little bit more to soften it. And I'm also going to be using it in the outer corner. To deepen this further, I'm going to dip into Pretender with the same concealer brush. I'm going to dab it in the outer corner and the crease. To diffuse it further, I'm going over it with the blending brush and I'm going to be using the same eyeshadow in my lower lash line, smoking it out. I want to intensify the outer corner just a tad bit more so I'm going to dip into this guy with the concealer brush and I'm going to dab it only in the outer corner. It's time to cut the crease so I'm going to be using the Milani concealer again. I'm just taking very little as you can see. The brush that I'm using is a concealer brush by Colourpop and I'm following my natural socket line. I'm doing a half cut crease and I'm going to fill up that portion on my lid. I'm going to diffuse the edges with my finger just to make the blending easy. I'm going to dip into Thorn Apart to fill in the inner third of my lid and the brush that I'm using is the C30 brush by Rose and Ben. And for the center of the lid, I'm going to be using Romance and I'm going to make sure that the edges are well blended with the other eyeshadows. Using the liquid liner by Laura Geller, I'm going to pull out a small wing and line my top lash line and I'm also going to be extending it in the inner corner almost like a foxy eye. And then I'm going to dip into Smoked Out with a small angled brush. I'm going to use it in the outer third of my lower lash line. I'm going to stamp it all the way till the outer corner just below my lashes. And then with the Rose and Ben Beauty eyeliner brush, I'm going to again dip into Smoked Out and I'm going to pull that wing out just a tad bit more. So it's parallel to the wing on my upper lash line. And then I'm going to push some of that eyeshadow towards the center part of my lower lash line so it fades into a lighter color. To make the eyes brighter and appear bigger, I'm going to use a nude eye pencil by Colourpop in my lower waterline. And then to give that illusion of an extended waterline, I'm going to be using a little bit of concealer in the gap between the two wings. 
To balance everything out, I'm going to highlight the inner third of my lower lash line using Thorn Apart and I'm using a nail art brush because the tip is so fine and it's very easy to draw those fine lines. For mascara, I'm going to be using Lash Princess by Essence. If you prefer, you can also use false lashes, but today I'm not going to be using any false lashes because the eye look is so pretty and I don't want to hide my lid. But if you have more lid space, you might as well. And here's the trick. If you want your lower lashes to look thicker, take your tweezers and pinch a few together. They stick together and look like false lashes. I'm using Thorn Apart again to highlight my brow bones before I call it done. That's it my friends and how stunning is this eye look. It's not too colorful, it's subtle but stunning, it's exotic, it's unique, it's the kind of eye makeup that will make people stare at you for all the right reasons and this is the kind of eye makeup that I will rock at any party or occasion. I hope you like this look as well, comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video as always, please don't forget to thumbs up and if you're new here, please consider subscribing if you'd like to watch more videos like these. Do check out the description box for all the products that I use today along with links and links to my social media in case you plan to follow me there. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys!